He is alive. I'm alive. Morning video for your girl back home, maybe? Yeah, very good. I'm alive. There it is. Good morning, honey. <laughs> Gotta prove at least we made it to the trail. We're not to the trailhead <laughs> yet. <laughs> we, and we, the, we made it to the road. Are we starting from here? Pretty much around. I mean, we're not going to get in the car and move, drive anywhere. No. Okay, that's what I thought. I mean, unless we go around the corner and there's a guy saying, hey, the road's still open for another mile, <laughs> then we will. <laughs> Be We're open. thankful for uh, Mrs. Cox bringing the baggie of earplugs. Thinking about Travis's brothers, I guess. Although I didn't hear them, so thank you for the earplugs. I didn't hear them. <laughs> this was our uh, morning veranda view here. Still a few miles from the trailhead. Next car up the corner. Actually, at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten cars that I see, anyway. So, we got some people on the mountain. There's home. Love you, Christina. Girls. Katie, Rochelle, Alicia, Amber, Abby, Jacob, Samuel, Matthias. Little Amy and Jacqueline. We'll see you guys later on. We're gonna move on up the mountain. Day one. Well, an hour from the cars, we're getting some great views of adventure ahead. Oh, praise the Lord! Look at that. Hey, maybe you guys want a photo? Maybe. Yeah. I'll put you in it there. So there we are, we got the head wall, the last lip up there, and pretty neat. Praise the Lord. Sunny day. Josh, always missing you in the mountains. We're home. Mark. We're on our way. Give the A mom. Come on. <laughs> Those moms are back in there. It's a full, I mean, you just. You're into a full-on alpine tour mode. Guys look like you're... What are them crazy alpiners doing? They got skis on in the middle of summer. <laughs> there they are. That's what they're doing right there. <laughs> oh, it's good. We're taking all the views we can get because the Lord may shroud it by the days out. That's great, though. Crescent Glacier is... It's a quieter rest stop. Yeah. Two hours in to the journey up to Cold Springs. Settling into our... This is what we do when we go up the mountain base. <laughs> Not quite as glamorous as the brochure picture was, brother. You know, the alpine arete, Rocky Mountain and crags all around, tent nestled in. <laughs> yeah, where's my Sherpa? Yeah. Our guy doesn't sell much gear right now at this rest stop. <laughs> little video. We're at 3.30, Saturday afternoon, getting some views of the mountain there, the upper mountain. And our brother Travis coming on up in the sun, up the ridge route. Heading for a campground up here a ways. Little way, little ways. Oh, it's recording. Sorry, we're trying to get a photo here. 
Superdome going up. They call it the Mountain Hardware Weather Station. It's where we uh, wait out all the weather. Praise Jesus on it. I don't get it. Is this how the door's supposed to look? Yep. Like that? Just like that. Just that's like it. LC. That's your that's your door frame. It's the threshold. Yeah. That's the uh Oh, here's the car. Uh-huh. It probably has anchors that go into these other holes that are yeah. Ah, uh, it's upside down. Flip it. There. This way. There you go. And that doorway in there. <coughs> that doorway coming out left. Uh -oh. Home oh, got sweet home. I got, I got a doorway. I got a doorway coming here. Okay. The windows just square up on there. You know, hey Chris, just before you pop those down, you might lift it up and clip a couple of these to the to the uh, hole. Oh, just for and we get, get the new thing. up first. Yeah, we get the new thing going. <laughs> I think I need the, the whole weather station going. Come on here, so we'll we'll end up somewhere. This I got a whole bunch of extra stuff over here. Yep, that's awesome. Cause that's our other room. So when he starts snoring, should he kick me out? Out in the doghouse, out front, buddy. Okay. That's the uh, vestibule. The grand foyer. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we just want to clip kind of anything we can. Usually we don't have to clip it all because it's a pretty strong tent, but the Lord has some pretty strong winds. So, <laughs> you might get the tent that. That's earplugs. right, he brought doubles and triples on the earplugs. Brought lots of earplugs. I have mine are in my Levi's that I left on the trail. So I got, I have more. Good. <laughs> That's pretty heavy, were they? Huh? That's pretty heavy, were they? Okay. Yeah. I was thinking about taking them out and just leaving them on the trail. Need a hammer to drive that into the ground. I got a two-pound sledge in my backpack to pound those stakes in.
about this piece? Do you want to need this? That's uh, <laughs> from Possibly. outing. That's why I threw that other one in the trailhead. Okay, it's broke then. It's broke. Foundation. Let's do it good the first time. <laughs> we couldn't find a rock to put the tent on. No solid rock. Tonight. Oh, there's a rock. It's a little just, higher. It's just down it's, there. Because uh, isn't this kind of like building your house well, you on the sand? Dinner. We got lots of rock up higher. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. a> <laughs> oh, praise the Lord! I like it. Look at that. It's going to be hot in there right now. You want to take a nap after this? Oh, yeah. Tell so you what, my girl and a book, she'd just be out. We'll see her Sunday night. Yeah, awesome. She'd be like, That's going good. Jesus. All right. Home Sweet Dome is up. Pictures hold pretty good. Evening camp. 6,500. We got some neighbors up a few feet higher. Here. We got the summits up there, right through the trees up there, right in the middle. And uh, we got some stuff blowing all around. Not much here. So, hi from home. Hi, Christina. Love you. Josh, it's not your favorite mountain. Katie, Rochelle Lee Chamber, someday. Abby, Jake. And uh, we're doing well. There's some sun in the valley down there. Boiling. We can get to bed here about 7.04. So. And they rose on the second day to that. Praise the Lord. I got a little video going for home. And Brother Mark, he's Morning. smiling with the uh, sun hitting the east flanks of uh, the intended target. target, I guess, right there through the trees. The Lord is really, he's done himself up again, another, another notch. He's always doing one better than the day before for us. <laughs> He's good. Got a crest, 5.45 a.m., smiling like a reptile. Breakfast time. <laughs> so, praise the Lord. We'll get a few photos here. All the way around. Doing well. It's oh. going to be a seven-hour grind. Grind and prayer walk ahead of us. It's a prayer walk ahead to the top. Go up here and get a. There you have it. This one's for you guys at home. Can't don't know if you can see this or not. Hopefully. 
Oh, there. We got a great day. And uh, we're hopeful that we didn't squander some morning time. We, it's now uh, almost 7. Been up since 4.30. But it's giving me time to thank the Lord for the little note I found in my camera and other things. Thank you guys. Thank you, Christina, for your love and faithfulness, patience. And I need your prayers even before time. I don't know how God does this, but uh, for these guys to get to the top or get, get on up the mountain. So I want to tell you guys thanks for all your prayers. And uh, one step at a time, pray for me and Chris to love these guys. So, talk to you guys later. Josh, praying for you. Bye-bye. There's team leader Travis. Heading out. He's going to take us to the top today. Going up higher and farther up in there. That's the morning view. Big snowfields heading up. And Mark is uh, approaching the 7,600 land. We got a thousand feet in, so thanks, Brother Chris. Love slaving with him on the mountains. It's good. Amen. Keep slogging. Keep slogging, he says. <laughs> Onward and upward. He's nearing the lunch counter, 9,000 foot level up there. It's uh, kind of like Josh said, the mere snow field times three or four here. So, we'll see you in a bit. There we go. We made it to the lunch counter. Now we have another 12,000, no, 3,000 feet to go, right? About. The head wall. Just uh, in the cloud Nothing. there a bit. Just That's imagine it. it, behind the clouds. Yeah, <laughs> right there. It's coming. The Lord's pulling the veil back right now. <laughs> That's oh, our next uh, two or three hours there. We'll see three, how it three goes. Three hours up that. Oh, we'll just take it how the Lord builds us here. <laughs> no, we're going to switch back, yeah? We're not going straight up it. Tell me we're going to switch back. Well, with, with crampons, it, it's... The Hillary Step. I think you can do it if you just kind of find a spot to carefully stand up. Hillary Step. Congestion on Mount Adams. Of the just started up the head wall here. There it is, doesn't look quite so intimidating. Got a couple thousand here ahead here. But uh, this is our view Sunday afternoon, worship factory right here. Amen. Oh, worship the King, all glorious above. Money, I love you, kids. Dad's doing fine. Josh, I miss you. This is where you schooled me and showed me that you're going to surpass me in physical strength <laughs> on the ski down. I always remember that day. You put your son up here? You'd be able to tell if they 
are balling up because you will feel like you don't have very good traction and you look at them mm -hmm. and uh, there's snow balled up on them. So, okay. cramp on up. That's where we're going. A lot of up. There's Mark Cadell. High on the south flanks of Mount Adams. Getting a little blustery, a little chilly. Quarter to four in the afternoon. Still moving on. There's the top. Well, that pikers. Yeah, no kind of stuff going on around here. Well, we're probably going to have to make a decision here. Our two uh, brothers are not getting warm. Fatigue's kind of taking the toll. So I'm thinking maybe the Lord's going to deal us a high point right up here, close to 11,000 mark. We got uh, Chris busted on ahead. He's going to grab the summit there. for low camp. We've got some lenticulars and weather moving in the, in the basin there. So we're going to get off the mountain before it gets up. We'll see. Still got uh, another brother down there going. Very neat. Roll Bill. I love you dear. Made it to 10-8. Almost 11,000 but the wind is literally cold and having to head back. We still got we still got some touring ahead of us there. <laughs> a lot of terrain to cover. Praise Jesus. Tops up here, it looks real close in the video. It's another thousand feet. I see Chris right there. I think he's gonna probably start skiing here in a moment. And then our brother right back here. Praise the Lord. He's in too. Yeah. So get us both on a little bit. get back to camp part of being a good brother and mountain guide is knowing when to when to say when so hopefully we'll see you in a while we're gonna pick up some skis and ski on the lower part of the mountain here in a bit Mark's giving it a galleon effort for the glissade He's got a frame pack and non-slippery jacket crampons. So uh, it's a little difficile, but here we are, sailing at 10,000 feet on Mount Adams. <laughs> there he is. Alright, we got them all out anyway on skis so far. Just like that! Right on! There they go. A high point and a ski too, so that's a that's a blessing. I'm gonna get one more video here. So far, everyone's legs and skis are intact. We've made the bottom of the, the big hill. That's uh, the finish. All right. Cadell, come out. Six o'clock. Big uh, cloud cap up there right now. So, Lord turned us back at 4.30 and that's why right there. We got the end of the weather window. The end of the 
weather window. Everywhere we look, it is socking in. The Lord just saved our ski. Alright, here we go.